Today we are going to show you how to transfer over from the PC side to the Mac. Now I've been a Mac user now for about one year and I before then I was using PCs, Windows all my life. And I was able to make this transition really easily and today I'll show you some of the simple features of the differences between the Windows and the Mac. So from, if you're used to Windows, you're used to down here there would be a little start menu for Windows 7. But if you're used to Windows 7 where there would be a start menu over here, you noticed on the Mac you don't have a start menu. You have this kind of panel of programs down here. Now with this panels of programs, you notice there's a finder. Finder is basically your search on the Mac. It has all your files in it and you could do any search of anything you have. Like I have all these photos and movies here. You could search for anything and it's just like your your search you would find if you were to press start and to the right there would be a little search thing. You could also do this search right up here by clicking this button up here that's called spotlight. It's almost does the same exact thing. So on Windows, you would press the start button and then you'd go to programs to open all your programs. All you click the all program button. On a Mac, what you would do is you would go to this finder and then you would click launch pad. And now launch pad is going to show you all your different devices of programs you have. This is a kind of neat different way that Mac is compared to PC where you have a list and then this kind of shows you kind of like an iOS like iPad look where you have all your icons and you could switch these around like this and put them in folders just like you can on the iPad. So if you're transferring over to a Mac from an iPad you kind of already get some of these neat iOS features that you get, end up getting a Mountain Lion which I think is pretty neat for Mac to include all this. Now here, if you notice, you should have an App Store. App Store is kind of like your store you have on the iPad with your App Store. It's exactly the same thing. It's just, it's all for your Mac. You have your Safari. Safari is like Mac's version of Internet Explorer. Now here we have the mail. I'm not going to really go through the mail. I may talk about that in a later movie. But the mail is really easily almost if you know how to set it up on the iPad you can be able to set it up on the PC or Mac now with the cat now after that you should have like a calendar app that's pretty neat it's same thing with the iPad we're not gonna really go through that the reminders contacts this is all stuff that uh, is really you get with the computer and it's really I think is what Mac Mountain Lion stands out because with PCs you don't get these nice features right away and then like the notes that work really well with all your iOS devices with your Mountain Lion and then you got the messages which and then you got FaceTime so if, if you're looking on the Mac for some customization that you're used to on the PC where you would have to go to the start menu and hit the click control panel and go all that on the Mac all you would have to do is you go to this Apple Sigma on the upper left and then you go to System Preferences. And in here, you're going to be able to change your screensaver. You're going to be able to change the mail accounts. You'll be able to make parental controls. And we're not going to really go through most of this. But if you want to just change it, we'll, we'll start with the screensaver. You just would click the screensaver. And you could change it to anything. You could change it to pictures, just like you would on the PC side. So this is a quick way of doing that. Also, there there's an option for the dock. Dock is, like I said before, the master control down here. It it does basically everything where you launch the programs and you can control like the size of how large your dock is and how small it is. I really like to keep it about the medium size because of the fact that if you make it too small, I don't know if we, we haven't gone over this, but on the Mac, when you have programs running, you have this little light down here that's the PC side of the little bar at the bottom. You get the little light on the Mac. Which, if you're not seeing that, you are gonna you would want to click this under... So, let's go back to the... You would want to go back to Dock. And then you would want to click Show Indicate Lights. Actually, this one. Show Indicate Light. 
because if I turn that off, if you look, I don't have the lights on down here showing that that program is running, which from the PC side, you kind of get used to the whole thing of programs running. But the Mac also has this nice thing down here where it will show you over here what's running, and it shows you little windows of what's going on. So that's kind of nice. Also with the dock, you have the capability of adding folders. Now, let's talk about how you would go to your widgets. If you're used to like the Android, they call it the widgets. It's kind of like the Mac version of widgets. So you would have your five fingers, and you would slide it on your touchpad. And now, now here you go. Now this is my widgets I have. I really don't use this much often, but we can cover it because it's it's a important part of like I have my I have a little clock here and I have a calendar and then I have like weather for Chicago and then I have uh, hockey which hockey isn't started because of the lockout and then we have a can we have a calculator and then we have this puzzle game that you could play where you hit the put back mountain lion and then we have the NASCAR news. Which I think this is really neat. If you if you want to add more, you just click the button and then you can add all these different things. You could I know a lot of people are big on these stickers, stickers where you can add like little notes everywhere, or you could, and then you could flight flight tracker. You want to flight track a flight or a dictionary. I this is these are all really uh, and you can even download them off the internet. We're not going to go over that, but. There are more online than if you want, but I really don't use as much often. But it's something that you it's on your Mac and you want to go over. So then I just slid my five fingers back over to get it off. And this concludes this quick transition from Windows Windows 7 to Mac OS Mountain Lion. I I'm gonna make more movies in the future and talk more about individually about individual programs on the Mac. If you have any tips or any suggestions on how to improve this video even more, post a comment below. Thanks again.